everyone, I'm Danielle Denise, and today we're going to talk about a few different ways to study for pharmacology. Hi everyone, I'm Danielle Denise, and welcome to my channel. For those of you who may not know me, I'm currently in an entry-level Master's of Science in Nursing program to become a psychiatric and mental health nurse practitioner, but I'm currently wrapping up my pre-licensure, like pre-RN portion of the program. So I have had the luxury of taking the wonderful, amazing, stressful, dreadful pharmacology a few semesters back and I promised you guys that I will get you out a video for how to study for that class after my How I Study for Med Surge video. I get a lot of questions about it, but I just end up answering it in my DMs and I haven't sat down to make like a formal video. So I wanted to do that today. And since it's so late, I thought it would also be great um, if I included some of my classmates' methods of study so that you guys don't just get my way and that way you see different methods and you can choose one that works well for you. So let's just jump right in. I wanna start by saying that you'll notice with each of these methods, some commonalities are memorization and repetition. Um, I'll go more in depth with some of the similarities and differences as we go, but I just want you guys to know like there's gonna be a lot of memorization and repetition. So let's start with my way, okay? So my way became an evolution of just throwing things at a wall and seeing what sticks and then blending in what all of my classmates were doing. Um, so basically we'd start off with a study guide and this was the first semester that I got this iPad. Um, I was convinced by my study group and everyone else that this was like the thing to have and I felt like I was missing out. They also used Notability. So this semester was just me learning this iPad and using all the cool colors. So you'll see a lot going on with the evolution of how I studied for this class. So yeah, I started off with the study guide that our professor gave to us and basically filled in everything on the study guide from what was on the lecture slides. The lecture slides I was able to record and take notes. I hope it's not overexposed. If it is, just follow along with my words, I guess. Um, so I would take notes and uh, re-listen to the lectures and then go in and fill it in on these study guides. So anything that was missing, I type in what we learned from lecture and then add in notes. And then in order to start the memorization and repetition, what I would do is I would go in and I would start rewriting notes. So I'm up here getting used to the fonts and all these cool colors. And basically that is what I would do. I would rewrite the study guide by hand using this Notability app and anything that was important or like that was really stressed or like super critical, I would write it in red. And I just felt like that was something that would make it stick because it's something so different than the color scheme that I was going with or I'd underline it in red. Just in general, um, on these study guides, we would have the drug name, a generic and brand name, a mechanism of action, drug effects, indication, any adverse effects and um, maximum doses, if that was applicable, any contraindications and patient education and nurse evaluation. So anything that you need to see or um, watch for, like mm, Tylenol and hepatotoxicity. So you wanna look for those symptoms just in case any of the adverse effects pop up or if you need to use a, um, a reversal agent. So you wanna remember those two. And I'd also go in and write those down next to it if, especially if the professor noted it as important or like something that might come up on the test. I think that really helped make things a little bit easier. So that's what I did. Lastly with me to do like med math, I just did practice questions, you know, just wrote those down and wrote those out. I will tell you guys at the end how my studying evolved. Um, but right now let's go into my number one nursing study partners uh, study guide. She is super smart, you guys. Like, okay, So my study partner would send me her notes too, like after a while, because one, my notes were getting really messy and she made pretty notes. So she took like the same information that we needed from study guides and put them into these like really pretty notes and organized them by drug classes. That is another similarity. You will see 
all of our notes are organized by drug class. That's how we were taught them. And we put them in different colors. You'd also see her go in and add in things from lecture, aside from like what was on the study guide. So similar to mine, but cute. So what might have helped here was mnemonics and acronyms and all of those things. Just really find what works for you. I'm just giving you some different options for things that you can use. You know, whatever worked for you in the past, as far as memorization and just like shoving a bunch of information into your head, you wanna try to incorporate it into this. So yeah, if you like her method, that's this way. The next one I wanna show you guys is um, my other friends, they use this type of study guide. Let me show you. They use it like this. Hopefully that comes up. I forgot what these are called. And for memorization, this duo basically used the whiteboard technique. So just rewriting the drugs over and over again for memorization. Another similarity is that they also added in lecture notes or things that our professor said, like the stories that she would have or like really critical information or she'd have ways for us to memorize things. So they also included that into their study guides. And also what they use were drug guides. Like for example, the Davis drug guide, they use that to help them study. I remember we also used Quizlet note cards. So you can use that as well. Just use some flashcards, but digital. So you're not wasting paper. And if it helps as you're typing out, your meds on Quizlet, it's another method of repetition. You're re-exposing yourself to that information. You can keep rereading your notes, you can keep saying them out loud, you can use these whiteboard methods, you can use Quizlet. Let me add something else. I do wanna say in real life, you do have access to like up-to-date in apps and your uh, small drug guide books and stuff that your program might give you. So never feel like in real life, you're gonna be left without resources. The last method or like study method that I wanna show you came from another duo in my cohort. So, oh, here we go again with the cardiac meds. So also group the information, but typed it into charts. They use charts. So as you can still see, we have a group diuretics, ACE inhibitors, ARBs, calcium channel blockers, beta blockers, all of that divided up, but then see this is how they did their charts and they were all grouped like that. So what I would do once they would send me these, um, I would add anything else that was already on the slides or in my previous study guide so that I can keep looking at it again. And it gave me a chance to see it in another way and rewrite the notes and keep looking at it. And then if there was ever a drug that was also in another class or in another like group of meds, like some of these meds are used for other things. I would go back in and I would put like a little star or a little note by it and just remind myself like, hey, you're gonna see this again, or this is also used for something else. Also another commonality, I think I, think I told you guys, they color coordinated things. So glad I had my nursing partner and then the other two, they studied with their method and they had their neat notes and then these two had their neat notes that they used together. So there's, there's power in twos. And then when you all come together and you work together and you all help each other out, that's what's important. There's no competition in nursing school, y'all. There's no, none, none, there shouldn't be. And if you're one of those people, check yourself. <laughs> check yourself, you can help each other out. Like this helped me so much. Like I don't know what I would have done without this group of people, like especially during that semester. That semester was rough. We had med surge, farm, patho, nutrition, something else but i can't remember because that semester was crazy so just to wrap up by the time i got to my final i was attempting to make pretty notes you know i spent a whole like 30 minutes trying to make that pill so pretty notes weren't for me those weren't for me mm -mm. but the rest of my notes started to get like more organized um, I started making Frankenstein notes, basically just copy and pasting things from um, other notes or <laughs> other people's like study guides, just to keep exposing myself to the information um, and doing like practice quizzes. Here are some like answers from one of our practice quizzes. So yeah, that's pretty much what I did to study for farm and what a combination of what other people did. So I hope you found like a method that might work for you or some style of notes that you like, that you wanna try. 
let me not forget, I did watch YouTube videos. Like there are some helpful videos. Sometimes you'll find videos that are like tailored to like med students. You can just skip past all the detailed, detailed stuff. I mean, that's cute for them. That's for them. <laughs> or for when I'm in like advanced farm, which is coming up and I'm scared, but that's okay. Um, that's, that's for them and that's for them. You can just skip through that or play it at two times speed, get the information that you really need and the things that stick out that you've heard from lecture and you'll, you should be good. You should be good to go. Um, just find a really neat method, neat and orderly. I think that's key. Um, I was just kind of all over the place. Like, when am I not? Um, so yeah, I really do hope you found a method that worked for you. If you found this video helpful, let me know down in the comments if you're a nurse that like has gone through farm and have you have other tips. Also leave those in the comments. Uh, just support my video by leaving me a thumbs up and interacting with me. I love chatting with you guys, as you already know, if you're already subscribed. And I will see you guys in my next upload. Thank you so much for watching and yeah, bye. <laughs>